look at another continuity type problem, one in which we have to determine the value of a constant in order to make the function continuous. So I've got f of x equals sine of x over 5x, and that's for when x is less than 0. And when x is bigger than or equal to 0, it's negative 2x minus a. And what we got to do is figure out what should this be in order for this function to be continuous. So one thing we can do is we can make a little sketch of this top function. And then I'll show you what you could do to sort of if, get, around, uh, get around sketching it if you don't want to. So less than 0, this graph is sine of x over 5x, which basically does this. This is definitely a really rough sketch. Jumps up to a fifth. Okay, and then afterwards we're graphing negative 2x minus a. So that is a line with a slope of negative 2 whose y-intercept we have to figure out. So we've got to figure out what this y-intercept should be in order for uh, in order for this function to be continuous, in order for this hole to be filled in. So I mean like a lines with slope of negative 2 all look something like this, right? That could have a slope of negative 2. So it could one like this. We gotta find the one that's gonna fill in that hole and continue on its merry way, creating a continuous function. So I think it I mean, just looking at the picture, it's pretty clear what it is, right? If we need this y intercept of the line to be one fifth, that would only happen if a is equal to negative one fifth. Again, negative one fifth because we already have a minus here, so minusing a negative would make it a positive. Right? So if a is negative one fifth, then this piece becomes negative two x plus one fifth. So that's a line with a slope of negative two with a y intercept of one fifth, and that will be exactly the one we need. Now, all of this is sort of dependent on my prior knowledge of these graphs, right? I mean, of course, a graph of a line I would expect you should be able to handle. But maybe coming, you know, coming up with the graph of sine of x over 5x just off the top of your head, uh, I mean, I, the more experience you have, the easier that becomes. But the other thing you could just notice is that we need, uh, we need negative 2x minus a to equal the limit as x goes to 0 from the left of sine of x over 5x. Right? We need, we need the value, uh, and so this is when, when x is equal to 0. In other words, when x is equal to 0, we need the line to have a value that's equal to the whole that's left or the value that the function is approaching as x approaches 0 from the left. All right? And this you should know from previous lessons. Right? That is just one-fifth. So knowing that limit lets you sort of get around having to graph it. We know that that equals a fifth. And when x is 0, I have negative 2 times 0 minus a. And so this becomes negative a is equal to one-fifth. And then, therefore, a equals negative one fifth. So there's another way to get that answer, strictly using your knowledge of this limit here, and understanding what continuity means. Okay. Um, and ag again, why is this continuous at this point if a is a fifth? Because now, f of zero. Or I'll start this way. Now we know that the limit, as x goes to zero is equal to f of 0 because the limit when x goes to 0 is clearly from the picture a fifth and that's clearly equal to f of 0 which is what we get when we plug in 0 into this function because of how the piecewise is defined that's one fifth so the answer to the question is a should be negative one fifth